Hey guys, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen what is Sonar Cube and how to set up Sonar Cube. In this lecture, we are going to understand overview of Sonar Cube console. If you haven't watched the previous video, it might be blinking right side corner of this video at this moment. Please go and check it out. Next, if you see here project tab, here you can create a new project. Okay, you can see this console is filling up if we are running the reports. But so far we haven't ran any reports. That's the reason you couldn't able to see. But if you want to add any project, you can add it manually by choosing this option. And also you can integrate it with another source code management tools. But let it be manually for this time. So if you choose manually, it will ask the project key. I'm going to give the project key as a Maven project and set up. Whenever you set up, it will ask you to provide a token. You can choose the some name to your token. So I'm giving the same name, Maven project and generate it. So now it generate the token. By using this token, we can able to authenticate our sonar cube. Okay. You can use this one either Jenkins or Maven system. It will get authenticated. Now, if you want to more specific about that, you can just click on continue, then it will list out that what and all options you can choose. Let's say that I'm integrating it with Maven. So choose this option. It will give the list of the steps which you need to follow. If I execute this one, I could able to directly communicate with my sonar cube from my Jenkins. Why? Because it have the project key, host name of the our sonar cube and also login credentials okay key is nothing but a credential so you need to keep it in a secure way whenever you are using it that is one thing now once this is done you can able to see issues so far we haven't run any analysis so there is no issues once you start running the projects you can see the issues which are faced by that specific project usually developers come over here once their code analysis is done they will try to fix up the issues which are triggered over here I will show you that as well. Next thing rules. As we discussed previously, rules are nothing but instructions of your best practices. And SonarCube supports various languages. Okay, in each language, some of the predefined rules are enabled over here. If you see the Java, we have 639 rules are there. Similar way, C Sharp 400 plus, JavaScript, TypeScript, like that depends upon the language. Okay, it has some predefined set of rules these rules we can use to create the quality profiles so now what do you mean by quality profile it is a collection of rules let's take that you have a java application now you want to applicable all these rules then you can create a quality profile with the all these rules but by default you will have some quality profiles and if you see here for c sharp we have quality profile css flex go html jsp java Okay, we will concentrate on Java. Okay, before that, if you go to C Sharp, you can see here Sonar way. This is the profile name. Projects, it is a default. Nothing but by default, it will be applicable. You can change these projects like only specific projects. I want to applicable this profile. Such a way you can design. And rules, if you see in the C Sharp, we have how many rules? 401 rules. But if you see the quality profile, 253. Not all rules are enabled on the default C Sharp quality profile. So they are ignoring some of these rules. And when it was updated 16 minutes ago, when it was used, never. Okay, this is how you will come to know. Similar way in Java, we have around 600 plus, right? Among this, you can see here only 452 we are using in the sonar way built in default profile. That is how we can check it out. And if you wish to create your own profile, maybe then you can choose this option. So by choosing this option, you can give your own profile name. I'm giving like a Maven profile. Okay. And this is for not C sharp. I'm giving for Java. Okay. Next create it. I have just created a new quality profile. And here you can see how many rules you have activated in this profile. There are different rules, bugs, vulnerabilities, code smells, security hotspots. For these things, they have written rules. So at this moment, I haven't activated any rule on this quality profile, which I just created. So inactive, these many are inactive. If I want to add any rules on my quality profile, I can choose this option, activate more. And you can see here, activate. I'm using this one. So activate it again. I'm choosing this one while choosing. You can 
choose the severity also what kind of issue it is how i can treat it if it is not a major issue for this project then i can make it as a minor this is where you can activate it so far i have only activated two right i can even activate all together at one go this is the option okay before activating it if i go here now you can see under java you have a maven profile and uh, at this moment only two rules are enabled and if i click on this and activate more i can choose all of them okay activate in on maven profile apply so among this some maybe get skipped yes couple of rules got skipped but anyway it is added most of the rules to my new quality profile and if you see so far 633 has been added over here now assume that i want to make it as a default profile then i can choose over here you can see here set as a default so that from next time onwards whenever a new java program we are running for analysis then it is going to take this quality profile that is about the quality profiles next thing is quality gates let's take that you have run this quality profile okay maven profile you have run so on your code you found around 100 bugs by running this one now this quality gateway what does it do how many bugs are there if this bugs is reaching to the threshold value then you can limit your code is passing or failing passing nothing but okay the quality is good failing nothing but the quality is not up to the mark that is the meaning so in the sonar cube we can decide whether the quality is good or not let's take that code coverage if you see here code coverage if code coverage is less than 80 percent i'm not going to treat it as a passed which means that the quality of code is not good similar way duplication lines if duplication lines are more than three percent i will treat it as a not good code maintainability reusability security hotspot like that different things you can activate it based on this one we can treat whether our code is good or not again these values may vary based on the project necessities if you want to create your own you can create your own quality gateway by choosing this option okay let's take that uh, demo project okay so i have created a new quality gate with the demo project and i can add conditions over here okay condition condition coverage how much percentage i will mention 90 percent so 90 percent of the code coverage has to be done so whatever test cases they have written that should be cover 90 percentage of the code otherwise i will treat it as a failed one how the code coverage does work let's take that you have written 100 lines of code and you are testing or checking only 70 lines of code then i can say that code coverage is only 70 percent if your test cases are covering around 95 percentage of the lines then i can treat it as a 95 percentage is the code coverage next another thing is i am going to add the bugs okay duplicate lines issues critical issues should not be more than 10 okay if critical issues is more are more than 10 i will treat it as a not good code like this you can add your own quality profiles and even you can make this as a default okay you can see here set as a default so it is going to take this as a quality gateways next administration okay there are various options you can do okay security even you can create users over here projects if you want to delete some projects and do some activity all this stuff can be done over here that is how it is going to work all right now what we do we will try to run one project over here and see the analysis report for that i need a maven server let me quickly set up a maven server and come back i have just set up a maven server and uh, i have logged in over here let me go to opt and uh, maven mvn minus version if you check you can see it is 3.8.2 and uh, this is my maven server okay where is maven here yep this is maven server all right next thing is i am going to clone one project git clone from my github repository let's go to github okay hello world i am taking this is the project let me clone it git is not there huh? so let me clone it again all right code is cloned onto my system now we need to generate the analysis report or code quality report of this hello world program for that if you do remember in our previous lecture we were talking that we need a sonar scanner but if you are having a maven you no need to explicitly install sonar scanner it will come by default so you can execute the sonar scanner or sonar cube goal on your maven command it works fine 
you don't need to explicitly maintain that let's grab that command if you do remember while creating a project we could able to see that right similar way we can grab it this is our sonar cube so we have missed to note the token of the maven project so i'm going to create a new one before creating even you can delete it to delete you need to go to administration and projects management and you can select the existing project and you can delete it sorry here okay once you have deleted again you can create a new project or else go to home page and create a project or add a project manually then i am going to name it as a hello world i just named it as a hello world project set it up and uh, hello world project generate it so now we have generated the token but i want to get the command as well so for that just choose maven and you will get the command this is what you need to execute in your project so now i have my project over here here i can run my command so i'm just copying the command which i just taken let's execute and see what will happen okay it is running but we are not doing build here why because if you see here we are just done the sonar sonar there is no build option we need to add package if we need the build this is first time we are running that is the reason it is pulling the all the dependency packages okay, it is running the sonar scan now all right it has been successfully ran and you can see here you can access the analysis report from here and if you scroll up little bit you can see the quality profile as well if you see here quality profile for java it is sonar way even it has some of the jsp code and xml code that is the reason it is running those quality profiles all right if you want to change it to the something else we can change it but that's okay let's jump into our sonar cube and we'll see yes new code is came and if I click on here and bugs are 0, code smells are 2 and if you want to see the detailed report, you can find it over here. Okay, two smells are there. There is no bugs in this code. Now what I will do, I will change my quality profile to another one. So Maven project, I am just making it as a default and I will rerun this code. Okay, while rerunning, I will add build option as well. I'm just using the same credentials so package and I can do the clean clean package and also sonar goal we are running this time compilation and build also going to happen all right build is successful and this time build also happened and if we see the quality profile it should be executed maven profile right yep you can see here maven profile has been executed why because we made it as a default now let's go and see the report sonar cube and you can see here vulnerability this time it has been added why because we are doing more tests this time and also overall if i see one vulnerability is there and 18 code smells this time it is more and if you see the date three minutes ago it has been started and it it has been executed that is how we can run or we can change our quality profiles and also i can make it as a failed how i can make if code smells are less than 20 i can make it as a failed as well and if you want to know the more details you can go to the issues and here it will display the each issue what is the issue so that developers comes over here and they identify the bugs or critical issues all this stuff and they act on this based on the priority that's how it is going to work that's all for this video thanks for watching i hope you found this video valuable please show your support by subscribing to our channel and let's have a conversation in the comments we love to hear you and see you in the next video